Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your friend Sinan from Sonic Ideas. So guys, you all know that finally I had created all the sparking Beyblades of Beyblade Burst Search and this was a big journey for me to make all these sparking Beyblades but finally I had created them and today in this video, I am going to show you my sparking Beyblade collection. So keep watching the video and also make sure you like the video and after watching the video, share this video to your other friends so that they can also watch this video. And if you are a new person in my video, subscribe my YouTube channel and also hit that bell icon because 75 to 78 percent people watch our videos but don't subscribe so why aren't you subscribing bro subscribe now so guys now let's get started So guys, the first Beyblade I have is first Uranus, the first Beyblade of Beyblade Burst Search and it is a burstable Beyblade. Let me show you. As you can see, it is a burstable Beyblade. And the driver is a Mobius driver. I just created it like the Mobius driver but the tip cannot spin freely as we can see. Just a random Mobius driver, okay. And I used a burst function system to make the Beyblade burstable. And this Beyblade has a 3D look around the layer as you can see. That's why the Beyblade looks more awesome. Okay, so guys, this was first Uranus. The next Beyblade I have is World's Prize in the Bay of Shu Korenai, a legendary blader. You all know that. And this Beyblade has a balance type driver, then a free spinning disc, and finally, clockwise and counterclockwise ring. Let me show you how to do that. Place the chip turn the burst system like that and now you have counterclockwise world's prison so guys this was world's prison with balanced driver free spinning disc and also with counterclockwise and clockwise ring so guys the next beyblade i'm going to show you is brave valtry egg the most favorite beyblade of mine the beyblade has a evolution driver with 2 edge chassis disc and also with 6 sword and 3 sword mode let me show you how to do that. Now the bay is in 6 sword mode as you can see. Now if you want 3 sword mode. Yes, now the bay is in 3 sword mode. So guys, this was Brave Pulse React and also with 3D look. Now the Beyblade I'm going to show you is Infinite Achilles, a burstable Beyblade with a tag driver. But the Beyblade does not have a Dimension Driver because I had previously created a Dimension Driver but I just lost it, okay. So it, it now just, it is a ordinary Beyblade but the Bay is super attack type. The TV as you can see is very flat, as you can see. So guys, this was Infinite Achilles, a burstable Beyblade with attack tribe Driver. So guys, now I have Rage Leonor with Raging Upper System and guys, the bay is totally awesome because as you can see, this sharp area just breaks a bay and the Raging Upper is also awesome but the Beyblade is an ordinary Beyblade, ordinary attack type Beyblade. Okay, so guys, this was Rage Leonor. So guys, the next Beyblade I'm going to show you is Curse Sathium, a burstable Beyblade with Universe Driver and also with Free Spinning Disc, as you can see. And guys, I am not satisfied with the Beyblade because the Beyblade does not have the free spinning rolling defense around the Beyblade layer. And that's why I am not satisfied with the Beyblade, but the Beyblade looks very very awesome. So guys, this was Curse Sathium. So guys, now I have Mirage Fafnir, the king of stealing spin. And it is a burstable Beyblade with stamina driver and also with absorb disc. And the Bay does not still spin that much because there is no rubber around the layer. Okay, so guys, this was... Raj Fafnir, the Bay of Free Day Haloya. So guys, now I have Glide Rocktober, a burstable Beyblade, a stamina type Beyblade. And it is a burstable Beyblade, just an ordinary Bay, nothing that much. So guys, now I have Tempest Dragon, the Bay of Drum, you all know that, or Dante. Okay, Dante Koryu. And it is also an ordinary Beyblade, but attack type Bay. This Beyblade is also awesome and very strong. So guys, now I have Variant Lucifer, the most extreme Beyblade of Beyblade Burst Search. And I just really like this Beyblade because of these spikes around the layer, which is called Variant Shield. And also with Mobius Driver, but the tip cannot spin freely. Just an awesome Beyblade. 
So guys, this was Fire and Lucifer. So guys, the next Beyblade is Hollow Death Scyther, a burstable Beyblade of Beyblade Burst Search. And the Bey is just totally awesome because of this big blade as you can see. But guys, because of this blade, the Bey does not have that much stamina or stability to spin in the stay medium perfectly. When you spin this Beyblade, the Bey will just wobble very much and it will lose stamina very quickly. But the Beyblade is really really awesome. So guys, this was Hollow Death Scyther. So guys, the next Beyblade is Lucifer the End, the second evolution of Lucifer. And guys, this is the biggest Beyblade I have ever seen in my whole Beyblade creation. And the thickness of the Beyblade is out of this world as you can see. It has almost take 2 days or 3, three days to cut all the cutter pieces like the Beyblade layer photo. But finally I had created it. Now it looks very awesome. But guys, the Beyblade does not have any type of limit break system. But I like it without limit break system. So guys, this was Lucifer the end. So guys, now the Beyblade I'm going to show you is Jet Wipron, a burstable Beyblade with free spinning ring as you can see. And guys, this Beyblade is really really hard to burst because of this free spinning ring and for this reason, I really really like this Beyblade. And when a Beyblade attacks this Bey, the ring just spins freely like that. And it prevents the Bey to burst. So guys, this was Jet Wipron, a defense type Beyblade. So guys, the next Beyblade is Death Diabolos, a random booster Beyblade of Delta and the Bey is just really really awesome to me because as you can see there are very very sharp spikes around the layer and when you spin this Beyblade it will really really attack hard to the other base and it will really really burst the base. Okay, so guys this was Death Diabolos, a random booster Bey but, but cool, not bad. So guys, now I am going to show you another Diabolos Beyblade of Delta Zakuro, which is called Evase Diabolos, a burstable Beyblade, random booster Beyblade, and it is uh, really really similar to Erase Diabolos, but not bad. It is a counterclockwise Beyblade, and it also really really attack hard to other base, other left spinning Beyblades, but awesome. Okay, so guys, this was Evase Diabolos. A random booster Beyblade. So guys now I am going to show you another favorite Beyblade of mine which is called King Helios and I really really like this Beyblade because of these 5 swords as you can see and the 3D look is totally awesome to me and but the driver and the disc is normally a normal driver and disc but the Bey is totally OP. So guys this was King Helios. So guys now I have Super Hyperion. The Beyblade of Hikaru's younger brother and I also like this Beyblade and the both Bays are really, really similar to each other Helios and Super Hyperion. Awesome Bay, not bad. So guys this was Super Hyperion. So guys now I have Helios Volcano, the second evolution of Helios and the Bay is just totally OP guys because I just really like this Bay and the Bay is super attack type Bay. And the bay has a free spinning ring like that. I didn't create it in limit break system, but I created it in free spinning system like that. A OP bay, not bad. So guys, this was Helios Volcano. So guys, now I have Hyperion Burn, the second evolution of Hyperion, like Helios. And this period is also a OP Beyblade because of this limit break system. But guys, this is not a limit break system. It likes a auto limit break system, or I can say. Turbo Awakening because when you will spin this Beyblade the blades will come out like that automatically okay also a OP Beyblade like that so guys this was Hyperion Burn so guys now I am going to show you the last and the final sparking Beyblade which we had seen in Beyblade Burst TV and it's called Death Salomon a burstable Beyblade but I don't like this Beyblade that much because the bay is really really similar to Death Diabolos as you can see. The both bays are really really similar to each other. So I don't like this baby that much but it's awesome. So guys this was Death Salomon. So guys this was all my sparkling Beyblade collection. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you like the video and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you are a new person in my video. And you can get all the videos about this sparkling base in my YouTube channel. Just go to my channel and then go to playlist and find a playlist called sparkling Beyblades. Then go to that playlist and you will find all the videos about this sparkling Beyblades. So guys now the main question is which Beyblade do you like the most? Tell me at the comment section. So guys now it is time to say goodbye to all these parking babies. So guys now say goodbye.